This recording is for determining the velocity according to the ballistic pendulum method. And again, I'm going to make up numbers. And I'm on this graphing calculator, I'm going to just do an entire qua equation in one big swoosh or swoop. Um, 15, I just make this up here that the pendulum mass is 15.4 grams plus the foam dart 1.1 grams. Again, I just make up my own numbers here. Divide by 1.1 because um, it's important for me to show that how to do it on the on the calculator rather than using um, correct numbers. And that's what you're going to come up with in your risk, in your um, measurements with your own correct numbers. These are of course just examples. So square root of two times 982, you're likely to be in Alaska and we're measuring in centimeters, so it's 982 times 1 minus the cosine of 8.5 degrees. And then I'm going to close all these parentheses. And I'm going to come up with something that's wrong. Um, but the nice thing is about doing it in one big equation here that it's easy to correct and that's what I'm gonna do now which means this has become really instructive I forgot about the length to put in there and on a graphing calculator like this second entry go up and right there is why I forgot about the length which was 74 centimeters and I come up with 599 centimeters per second I divide that by 100 enter 5.99 meters per second Let's do this on a different calculator with the same numbers. So here I'm going to have 15.4 plus 1.1 divided by 1.1 times square root of 2 times 982 times 74 times parentheses 1 minus cosine of 8.5 degrees parentheses 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 hit enter 599 divide by 100 of course 5.99 meters per second of course that will be around at 6.0 meters per second let's do it for a third with a third um, calculator. This one here, that's also the one that doesn't give us degrees but instead just radians. Um, I'm gonna do, and, and here we're just gonna do it step by step. I, I really, for myself, I really prefer to do it in all one one big thing and then, because then it's easy to go in to go and, and fix if I d did something wrong and you have seen that. So, here instead I'm going to do it step by step and I'm going to start within the square root first. I'm going to do 1 minus cosine of 8.5 degrees, but remember this one here doesn't do um, degrees, so I have to convert it to radians and I do that by this time around times pi divided by 180 degrees, parentheses, equals. Now here when I do it one step at a time I actually have to jot down my intermediate result so 0.010984 is what I'm gonna write down as before I could also use um, a table if I don't want to use the cosine and convert it so here's a table remember we have 8.9 degrees um, 8.5 degrees so I'm in the middle between these two here 0 0.9903 and 0 0.9877 so I come up with Oh, pretty much 0 0.9890 and so I'm going to go back to the calculator and I'm going to do 1 minus 0 0.9890 remember this is for if I don't want to um, do the cosine but I just want to use a table I had equal and I come up with the same result 0 0.011 is the same as 0 0.01098 because of the significant figures that we're going to use for our um, measurements okay now it's going to be in, I'm still inside the um, square root 2 times 982 times 74 times 0.011 equals 
And again, I have to jot this down perhaps, 1,599. I take the square root of that number, 1, 5, and around it, 9, 9. Oops, I guess I have to close the square root, uh, the parentheses here. I come up with around at 40.0 actually. Again, I have to jot that down. Now I'm going to do the two masses, which is going to be 15.4 plus 1.1, parentheses, divide by 1.1, come up with 15, multiply that with my rounded 40.0, and come up with the same thing as I had before, where I had 599, respectively, around at 600, and I divide that by 100, and I come up with 6.0 meters per second, just like earlier I had 6.0 meters per second.